Let's get you Cricut crafting with confidence. Hi, and welcome back to my craft room. My name is Kelsey with Creative Fabrica, and today we are gonna go over the side panel down below and get you crafting with confidence with your new Cricut. Actually, whether you're new or you are seasoned and you just need a refresher, this video is going to help you a ton. We are gonna go over slice, combine panel, flatten, and contour all in this video. So if you've been wondering what those buttons are about, this is going to cover it for you. Let's jump into Cricut Design Space. So we have this image here and we are gonna go over this panel down here. Now you'll see nothing is highlighted right now and that's because this is just one flat image and to use these, you're going to need more than one thing on your canvas. So to show you how to use this, I am gonna go ahead and grab out a circle. Now I'm gonna make this a different color, that way we can see it well on our image. Now let's go over the first part of the panel, which is slice. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna make it about the size of the chick, maybe a little bit bigger. Let's move it down below. You can slide these up and down just by clicking and dragging. And I am gonna go ahead, I'm gonna make it just a little bit smaller. And I don't really wanna grab that little part, but we need his feet. And if I grab both of these, now you'll see everything is highlighted. Okay, so now let's go over what slice is. So it'll pop up and tell you, and you even have a shortcut here, which is the shift, the shift, yeah. The shift key on mine, option and Q. But if I hit slice, what's going to happen is it's going to leave me the original image, the original bigger image. It's gonna give me a new cutout of just the chick in red, and then it's also going to leave the original circle piece. So slice leaves you all of the pieces. So here they all are, okay, so here is slice. I like to use slice, for example, on this, if I wanted my little chick to be separate, slice is a great option for this. So now what I could do with this SVG, now that I have this separate chick, I could delete this little extra part of the circle down at the bottom just by clicking on it and hitting delete. I can even delete the little red one. And then what I can do is here, I can have up top, I could have this chick be yellow if I wanted to. And now this is technically like a layered SVG file. Absolutely love it. Now let's say you wanted this second chick to be cut out, but she's real close to mama's toes here. So we don't really want to have what we have here, right? Where we have this little extra piece. So let's go ahead, we're gonna click on this and we are going to go ahead and duplicate it. Okay, I know it looks crazy right now. There's just two overlapping. You do wanna make sure these are overlapping perfectly. Now let's change it to the yellow so that we have the same color. And I'm gonna go into contour. Now we are going to contour everything except for that chick. So I'm gonna hit hide all contours. And what I have found what works best for contour is you close out, you look at what they have contoured and you go back in. So now they have this little leaf, I'm gonna uncontour that. But you need to contour something else first. So we're gonna do the chick. I'm gonna uncontour this. Now let's go back to what it looks like. You'll see he's solid and this other chick has the wings cut out, so you'll go back in. You can zoom in either with the plus sign or just clicking on your mouse pad. And I'm just gonna click on these little fills here. They should be darker, that way you know that they're going to be shown. Okay, and here. Contour is kind of like a guessing game, honestly, on what's going to show and what's not. So let's click out. It's perfect. And now we have this little individual chick, but we do still have the black chick there, right, on the other one. So let's go into this bigger one and contour just him out. So we're gonna click on him. Now all these dots are gonna be there. You're gonna wanna click on those. But again, it's like a guessing game. So it really depends on your image and how many holes and layers and things of like that. So just keep that in mind. Let's see. Now he's just a whole chick. Go back in there, contour, click on him again, close out. And now it's gone. And we don't have to worry about cutting off mama's feet. So we have this beautiful two layered image, right? So we have two colors, but these chicks are separate. So if I go to hit make right now on this yellow one, they're right next to each other. They are not going to be where I need them to be on the image. So let's go fix that. For, this, for that, the easiest thing you're going to wanna do is hit attach. 
Attach is going to change the color if it's a different color, and it's going to keep things in the exact place they are on the canvas. So when I go to hit make, there are my chicks in the exact same place, like distance from each other. I hope that made sense. Not necessarily on the canvas to the mat, but more in relation to the other pieces of the same color. Now you might be saying, well, I want everything to be in the right place, so why don't I attach everything? If I hit attach, you'll see now everything is black again, and that is not what we wanted. So I'm gonna undo that. I just use my shortcut of Command Z, but you can also hit this little arrow and just click that for undo. But now let's talk about the other parts of this panel down here. So there is something called a combined panel. Now let's say you want to add in some more of these hearts here. First, what I'm going to do is I am going to just grab that heart out. I'm actually just gonna duplicate this, move it over. I'm gonna contour everything out. So I'm gonna hide all contours, click on that heart. I'm gonna unclick this. And now we just have this extra heart, all right? So I'm gonna go here and I have it up top. I'm gonna duplicate and I'm gonna put it over here. But I also want these two hearts to be red. So now if I go to combine, right, we can do weld. That's the first one that I wanna talk about. Weld is going to merge these two shapes into one. It's kind of like attach, but you cannot undo it if you move forward. The best way to show you this is really through a series of circles, and so that's what I'm gonna do. Let's just say this looks great, you can use attach, you can use weld, but if I did combine and I did weld this, it's gonna be the same as if I went and did attach. You'll see they're the same distance apart. However, if I continued designing this, I couldn't unweld. There is no unweld button. So let's just go over this little combined panel and what it can mean when you're using it for different projects. So what I like to do when I'm showing people is grab out two circles. I feel like this is the easiest way to understand the combined panel. So we can go ahead, we can hide this. We're gonna group it up top. We'll hide this for now. And let's talk about just that combined panel. So I'm gonna change this here to pink and this to red so we can see it. And so the first one I want to show you, weld you saw, it attaches things together, it makes it permanent, you can't unweld. But if you have two things that are overlapping and you hit weld, it makes it into one image. And that's why it's important to know that this is permanent, where with something like that other weld that we did with those two hearts, I could use that contour method, right? And I could technically unweld them doing that. But if I attach something like this and make it welded like this, where it's it's together, I can't really use that contour method to unweld this. So weld is permanent and it merges it together. And that is something that you need to keep in mind. If you're going to weld something into one group, you can't undo it if you're working on your design longer. So let's mark this. We'll make it red so we can see it. Weld, you cannot undo. Okay, now let's grab out another two circles. And we are going to do, let's do purples this time. Purple and dark purple. Now our next one on our combined panel is going to be Unite. Now you're gonna say, this looks so similar to Weld. And guess what? It is. However, what's great about Unite is, you'll see here I have that drop down, whereas with my Weld, I do not. And so if I go here, I still have two circles technically. So what's great with Unite is I can still move these around. I can move it over here and it's united. I double click, I can move it back over here, it's united. So Unite, you can do, and it is going to be undoable. It is not permanent. So if I grab out my text box, we can mark this one as well. All right, let's grab our two circles again. All right, let's grab our two circles again. Let's change our colors. I think we will just go the next in line. We have blue, a, a periwinkle of sorts, and a bluish purple. I like it. And now we are going to move on to the next one, and it is subtract. And you're gonna say, Kelsey, this looks like slice. And guess what? It does, except for it leaves us just with one piece. And if we look over on that side panel, both pieces are there still, and so we can move them around. So now if I move this blue one up to the top, right? That's how it was, but if I move it back down, now it's the other way. So the, whatever is on top is going to slice into the bottom and remove it from that piece. 
So what I like about the subtract is that it is undoable and whatever is on top will disappear and then remove it from whatever's on the bottom. Now you might be wondering, well, what happens if you add in a third shape to these? Let's grab a third shape out. Let's change it to a darker bluish purple. Okay, and I'm gonna place it right on top. I'm gonna move it into the subtract. Release, it's going to work from the top down and it is going to subtract as well. So that's the same for Unite. So if I moved this guy out and I moved him into the Unite group, okay, he is going to also be united onto the three. So just keep that in mind that you can do more than two objects. I'm just showing you with two. So here is subtract, okay? We have our little periwinkle. All right, let's grab out two more circles and let's move to our next set of colors. We have blue now, light blue and dark blue. And now we are going to go to our next part of the combined panel, which is intersect. Very similar to subtract. However, whatever's overlapping is what is going to remain there. Again, this works for three items or more. So it's still just going to be whatever is, is on top of each other. So if I move here and I bring this in and then click off, it's just going to leave you what is intersected. So keep that in mind when you're doing this. So intersecting obviously can be undone. We have the drop down. You still see the two full circles when you drop down and that is your intersect. It's going to leave what is there. All right, our last one, we're grabbing out our two circles and we're onto our greens here. All right, and now our last part of our combined panel here is exclude and it's the exact opposite of intersect. So it leaves what is not overlapping. Again, this can be undone. It can have more than two. You can have three, four, five, but it's going to leave the gap of in between X for exclude. So it's kind of similar to um, subtract in a way. I would put it like as like a cousin, but that is what is going to be exclude. Now, I don't really, I've never really used exclude. I can see it being useful if you're doing like um, a cutout text or something like that. So. That is exclude. So from your combine drop down panel, these are the five that you will have. Again, you have weld, unite, subtract, intersect, exclude. Weld is the only one that cannot be undone and then the rest can still be undone and moved. So you can un exclude if you want to say, call it that way. If you click on it and you go back to that combined panel, it actually says undo, exclude or merge layers. Merge layers is going to basically weld it. So keep that in mind. If you hit it, there you go. It's a merge now. You can't technically undo this. It's like a weld. So do keep that in mind. You can undo it if you do it immediately like we do with weld. But if you move on with your project, you're not going to be able to just click a button and undo it. Now for the other ones like attach, attach is undoable so I can attach and I can detach. However, it's not going to go back to the original color if you did change the colors. So for example, if I had two hearts and one was yellow and one was a darker yellow, if I attach these, it'll turn them both to the dark yellow. But if I detach them, which it does say detach. It's not going to change the color back to that original yellow. So keep that in mind. Now, the last thing I want to show you is going to be back with our original chicken sticker and I'm going to make it into a sticker. Now, let's say you wanted this to be printed and then cut. You can't just hit make and expect your Cricut to know that. So what you need to do is you need to flatten it. Flatten is going to take everything in that group or whatever you click on and it is going to make it into a print then cut. Now what I suggest if you're making stickers is to either use an offset or use a shape to bake a backing onto it. So I would do an offset, hit apply. Now if you want there is a little hole here we can contour out that hole. And then I usually change my sticker backings to white, but you can change to whatever you want to. If you change it to a color though, keep in mind that your printer is going to print that color. Now you'll grab everything and you will hit flatten and it'll say here, print then cut. Now this is just a little too big for my printer. So I'm just gonna make it a little smaller and you'll see everything here is now print then cut. And what's great with flatten is you can unflatten. So it is not a permanent thing. You can unflatten an image. 
Now, if you upload a PNG that is already a flattened image, you technically can't unflatten, but you can use Cricut's um, convert to SVG, which will take the layers and give you colors. I just don't find this to be the best tool that they have. All right. And don't forget, you can drop any questions down below on any of the things that we went over. If you're not understanding what each of these buttons mean, it is super, it is super helpful once you know how to use that panel down below because you will be basically because you will basically be able to master your Cricut knowing how to use these tools. Thank you for joining me as we went over that little side panel in Cricut Design Space. I hope you learned something new and if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for new crafty videos, and share this with one of your friends who just got a Cricut and needs a little more help going over all the things that it can do. I will see you soon in my craft room and stay crafty.